very small little muscles. They all come from the occipital rib, um, small area. They attach at the occipital rib. Uh, for God's sake, why do I keep calling it that? It's definitely not a rib. Well, hi guys, uh, we have a really cool video for you and we're going to talk about four really important muscles. Uh, nobody talks about them and they really four small posterior muscle over here because yeah. um, they you know cause a lot of uh, discomfort um, tension headaches some proprioceptors the the text neck discomforts text neck as well um, and yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about anatomy, a little, a little treatment, some massage and aftercare. So, let's get on it. Hi guys! Now let's learn more about these four deep muscles of the neck. They're all contained in a very small area from the occipital ridge down to C2 and C3. So just in this small area here. And their names, which are quite a mouthful, is the obliquus, capita the obliquus capitus superior and inferior and the rectus capitus posterior, major and minor. Um, and they all deal with the extension of the head. Um, and all apart from the minor also deal with the ipsolateral rotation of the head as well towards whichever way the muscle is located. So guys, what's really quite interesting about the minor is a lot of people consider it to be a sensory organ as well as a muscle because it's got so many nerve endings and it deals with the proprioception of the body, which can be affected by something like whiplash, which we know affects the neck already. It can cause dizziness, vertigo, stress headaches, and general feeling of unbalanced. So it's really important that we're aware of these muscles when we do some treatments. So let's get led on the couch and see how we can treat these muscles. The great technique, just a really nice and easy simple, is to treat those muscle. It's just a finding, finding the occipital ridge and just cupping the head and let the gravity do everything else. Uh, just hold it there, just let the head sink in there. Don't rush, don't do anything, let the gravity, let the muscle let you in instead of you just digging there. There'll be just a little bit pull, but just rest like that. So what are we gonna do? I would just use slide the clients on a table nice and comfortable comfortable if there's any jewelry or anything like that just re removed it obviously you know we're finding with the case history what's going on there and to treat those muscles in here and i'm not not just you know i'm just focusing locally don't dig you know specifically for those muscles in there uh just move the client head side to side just so you can really nicely put uh, your fingers underneath and just find the occipital ridge, cup your fingers, a little bit of the tractions and just rest. Just let rest and let it go. And let this, for the moment, everything sink. Ask your clients to breathe. And with the communication of them, just ask them how does it feel. You know, we... <laughs> will be really important. Those muscles you know, over there, they can be really, really tender. So we can might feel like a trigger point. And lots of clients, especially with the, you know, we all the time on our phones, the text next on the computers, uh, they, those muscles in a distressed and lengthening mode all the time. So they can be really, really tender. And one of those techniques just cup here and spend here about four or five minutes just to let it go. Another great technique uh, which we can use, you know, some of the people might worry about, you know, being pokey and just put their fingers there. Uh, 
but you know it's very gentle technique you know but uh, another thing you can affect and really nicely stretch those muscles is to use some traction with the towel okay and it saves the massage therapist hands so what you're gonna do is fold the towel in a couple of halves I have the clients to lift your head and neck just place underneath the head and just place the towel under occipital ridge over here put the head and towel around it and very gently with the breathing in and out lift the head and pull into the traction how does that feel lovely really really good and just hold here just a little bit of distraction in here this helps uh, relieve the tension not only directly to those muscles but globally to all the neck area because of the traction in the cervical spine as well. Yeah, I can feel it almost down to my shoulders. And every time, and I will just hang out here with the good communication of the client and I will ask when we want to come back, I would do as slowly as we take the tra traction in here. So I will ask clients to breathe in and out. And the same very, 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 very slowly. Just come back from this one. And I would repeat that about, you know, two, three times. So aftercare, guys, it's something which you can do it yourself at home or advise clients um, after as aftercare what they can do at home. What you can get one of one of the or a couple of you know those balls can be tennis ball, lacrosse, or like a spiky mole intense one, and just very very simple thing. What you do, just lie down on a couch, on a bed, or on the floor, and just place one of those one just underneath there. And you can, you know, firstly, you can just rest. Just let this sing. The same with the fingers, what we did, just a rest um, on the occipital ridge there, just underneath. Let those muscles just released. And then slowly what you can do, you can just do little circles, rolls. Find the tender spots and the stays there to feel as they release. Guys, something that's really effective and very, very simple for aftercare is a rest posture. So I'll show you two. The first one is to lie flat on your back, but the problem is because we've got this forward neck posture that we're trying to get rid of, we do not want any cushions. So we want to get the client to lie completely flat so we can get a bit of a stretch going on here. But it's nice to just to be able to relax into the position and just get them to lie there for say up to 20 minutes if they're able to and just think about keeping the chin tilted slightly so we're not looking for that kind of posture because that's what we're trying to get rid of so have the the head nice and neutral and nicely relaxed and the longer they lie there the more the muscles are going to relax off another one that can be quite nice is to lie on your front and have your head tilted to one side. So obviously we want to do both sides. So you can do one side for say 10 minutes, if you've got that length of time, and then try the other side as well. You'll feel that one side feels more tight than the other. And maybe you could spend longer on that side, just waiting and working with the breath and waiting for it all to relax off. But it's just really important guys to make sure that you're comfortable and you can relax with it. So guys, there's some useful tidbits and ideas for how you can treat the neck. And if you like, you know, like this video, share it, click the link and subscribe if you haven't already, because yeah. we in this channel creating lots of videos like that. And if you like videos and would like us to do more videos like, last, like that, guys, 
you please support us on on our patreon page which we're going to put the link below and so you know every penny counts and you know we definitely help us um uh, to create more, more videos and content like that yeah that would be awesome guys and don't forget to share the love tell others about what we're doing get more people involved and if you've got anything you want us to cover then get in contact and comment in the links below bye 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 Whew.